Hello everybody and welcome to Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town where today I am gonna go and spend ages in the mines! Woohoo! I also wanted to take a milk to the Harvest Goddess but you know what, we can do that another day. She's given us the power berry now, we don't need anything else. Mwahaha! So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down and do that and then we'll do all of our animal care like later on. Now, I think we had a much better time and a more lucrative time in the winter mine. So that's where I'm going to go this time. Any scrap or... or I'll, I'll keep it for a while and then I'll probably throw it away. Because I don't like it. It's rubbish. I get the feeling though that I, I made the wrong conversation choice with Grey earlier, that I wasn't as supportive of him as I should have been. And, you know, thinking about his personality, I think he does need that support. So like any time that I, I have an interaction with him in the future, that's what's going to happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna be so nice to him. Right, I'm gonna go and eat my French toast now. I wanna make more room. There's a few like experimental ones that I want to just eat my way through. Um Probably that Tamagoyachi. cheat that perfect. That was just almost back to a hundred percent there. So let's uh, get her out. Forgot what I was doing there for a minute. I like it when I get money. That's always nice. I don't think that I'm going to be able to go beyond there. So yeah, we want to just go. Oh, perfect. Sometimes you just get really lucky and sometimes you've got to like basically hoe the entire level before you find the entry down. But I'm, I'm definitely, it's a lot of squares that I don't have to look at because of that tip that someone gave me in the comments. So I'm really happy about that. Also the person that said not to be too worried about my horse as well. All things that make me feel a lot better about stuff. Yeah, scrap ore is basically worth the same as weeds. You know, early game, that's good. It'll, it'll maybe help you save up for some seeds and you don't have many seeds and you don't have much money. So, you know, fantastic, great. But at this point, it's basically worthless to me. It's, it's just clogging up space. So it's not good. I'm going to eat my uh, Matsutake rice. Which did a lot to help. Um, and then also my boiled egg. Wonderful, that should help a little bit. And then we're just gonna hoe, we're gonna go one, two. Aha! Right, let's grab all the stuff in here. But yeah, definitely, like, if I've got enough um, food, I can keep going for ages, I can make so much money and then we're gonna like come out of the winter with like everything upgraded and looking amazing and you know I'll have an upgraded watering can, I'm gonna have my mayonnaise maker, I need to check on how long that's gonna take, surely it can't be that much longer. I think it was, it's only the 5th of winter and it was winter when I started asking him to make that so I should have looked at the timings. I'm terrible for just like getting excited and going and and then it's the, and then I'm like how long does it take no one told me uh That looks like it would be the edge That's the edge there 
Yeah. So in these levels, there's only quite a small... Oh, good. Nice. There's only quite a small amount of stuff you can do. So we're already down to level 3. Once I'd cleared level 3 last time, that... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Click. No, do not return to the surface. I've just got down here. My goodness me. I don't know why it started doing that. Probably because I started a new episode. And uh, I tabbed in and out. And it makes it do funny things. I have to be properly clicked into it. Otherwise it can be a little bit... Uh... Okay, I need to eat. I'm going to start eating through the oranges to get myself space. Yeah, I think at this point. Or maybe the raisin breads. Oh no, okay, that was a mistake. That's fine, I'll leave things on the ground until I can pick them up. Raisin breads are slightly more uh, full than I realised. Oh, do you know what I need to do as well, quickly? I need to pop it into my bag, which is full of these... And say, no. No. You're filling up my bag with rubbish. And then I also need to eat that black grass. Uh, plenty of room. I probably will always have like one slot dedicated to scrap ore. And just keep throwing it away every time it it clogs my inventory up too much. But I think I can go keep going quite some some while now. Because I have a lot of food still left. Go back over here so I can pick that up. So many gems are so good! I'm going to sell for so much, and then I'm going to get all the upgrades. Everything will be gold by next year. Year two, full set of gold tools. And I take my gold tools into the mines, and then I will uh, then I will get them all upgraded, and it'll be amazing. Well, I'm going to eat the rest of those uh, raisin breads. That'll give me another slot quickly. Once you start cooking, though, it, it, it's a game changer, really, isn't it? I get more of a feel as well for how much stuff I can pick up and how much, like, how much I need to throw away, how many stacks of things I need to keep. Um, how much food I need to take, what kinds of foods, what kinds of foods are the best, what, what kind of foods fit. Because eventually I'm going to be wanting to do these big dives for the things that are worth 10,000, I think. Things that are worth 70, great. But I think, when, yeah, once I get to that point and I'm, get, I'm diving for like all these pink diamonds and things like that, it's going to be really cool. Right, I've got seven oranges there. I think if I ate seven oranges, that would give me a little bit more room. Um, I'm going to start not bringing oranges with me because they are a bit of a, a waste of space compared to some of the other things I can cook now. They were brilliant to start with and to get me down to that gold level. It was so good. Orange is so much better than any other fruit. I think grapes maybe are along the same lines. But yeah, that flower is so cheap, and those those moon dumplings are so good. Right, so let's pick up all of these uh, scrap ores, and then we'll throw them in the bin. I don't like me leaving a mess, you see. Um, right, so let's start. Just throw away nine. Throw away nine, thank you very much. Oh, 
really got to throw more away. Is there anything else that I can eat right now? Not really. Okay, I'm going to get the hoe out. And by the time I've probably finished with this, They'll probably be, I'll probably ha need to eat some more and then I'll be able to pick some more stuff up. You got these black grass things coming out there. Why is it having I? Right, she'll have time to eat some oranges. And then let's get rid of that last thing of um, scrap ore. Get rid of those, delete them. And then I can pick up this black grass, which would be nice. There we go. That's such a full inventory. Let's just start throwing away gemstones. I want to go down to another level though. I want to see what cool things there are. This is level four. Quite a good looking level. I'm going to end up eating all the honey again. Which sucks. Shouldn't be doing that. Never mind. Right, there's my hammer. Stop going. Tiny level this one. Teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini level. So this is the biggest bag, is it? <laughs> yeah, I need to start leaving the honey at home. I keep the, I keep looking at honey as if it's a food, but it's not a food. It's a gift. In my opinion, not food. So I would never eat that going down the mines anyway, so it's just taking up a slot that I need. Right, so the next thing I want to eat is my black grass. That was a lovely present for me, uh, but... Now all the all the stupid scrap ore is coming back. Okay, what else can I eat? I think stamina booster. I can get a large stamina booster later. Um and maybe the honey. I hate that I'm eating honey because it's such a nice present for the sprites, but I need the space. And I will endeavour not to do that again. Hey! Level 5! This looks like a big level. Nice. Full of yummy, yummy stuff. Wow, not much yummy stuff here yet. Okay. What yummy stuff are we gonna fight? Just loads of scrap ore. That sucks. I want more yummy stuff. But eventually, I'm gonna get through all of the moon dumplings and things like that, and then I will come back. But hopefully what I've uh, managed to grab down there at that point will be really nice. And will get me lots of money. And it's still only 1.30pm in the daytime. So it's it's a very different thing in winter. You definitely get a lot more time in the day in a way. If you're in the mines, you just have all the time you want. It's a bit weird. Right, let's go and get rid of the scrap ore.
do not need that stuff at all. It is horrible, terrible, nasty stuff that just clogs up my inventory, and I wish it didn't exist. <laughs> Stay away from my inventory, Scrapple. Give me good stuff. Gosh, this is a huge level, isn't it? I will probably end up finishing this level and then probably popping back up. But you never know, it might not be. But my goodness, this is going to take a long time to get through. It's so big. I doubt I'm going to ever find anything like a diamond, you know. Come on, Sheila. Okay, we've got another whole load of scrap ore in there. It's not my favourite thing. Oh no, oh no. Okay, are you getting fatigued or what is it? Okay, well, that's fine. So, time to eat some more raisin breads and dumplings and all that sort of thing. But a stack of those is like two entire, almost two entire inventory full. Yay! My hammer winds up a level I can upgrade it at the forge. I have a feeling finding the stuff to upgrade it is going to be much harder. <laughs> than the fact that I've got enough levels to to, uh, yeah, to upgrade it. I, I, I think that's going to be my limiting factor there. Loads of cool stuff. Oh my goodness. I'm going to... This is This is such a haul. Such a haul. <laughs> I don't know where the, the way down from here is going to be. That's going to take some getting getting down to, isn't it? But the more money I have, the more moon dumplings I can make. The more moon dumplings I can make, the further down I can go. Then also upgrading my hammer. Well, the more I upgrade my hammer, the and and the side the the, the, the uh, hoe sorry, and the hoe, the more I can just hoe things and and all that and get down further and further and further. How oh, is there so much scrap ore in this world? I don't know. Okay, scrap ore is all gone. I have one full stack of moon dumplings left, one full stack of raisin bread, and one full stack of those egg things. So we can keep going a, a wee while still, I think. And I've still got some inventory slots from some good inventory management, although I am a bit annoyed I lost the honey. That was a bit silly of me. I do need to go and uh, say hello to the nature sprites and give them some gifts and stuff like that as well. And try and find Brandon if I can. He seems to wander around a lot by where Jennifer is and uh, just generally by the, by the lake and in the forest. A lot of the same places Jennifer goes actually. Maybe he fancies Jennifer. Oh, don't even start with that, Shelab. It's bad enough that Ellie fancies the doctor. And like high fancies, excuse me, potpourri. I'm having a like a hiccup attack here. That's not good in a recording, is it? I'll have a hiccup attack. I'm gonna gonna try and suppress them until later, and then I'll let them flow free. <laughs> okay, so we're halfway through our stamina. I think that's why the black grass comes up when you're hoeing things though, is so that like eventually I imagine you'll get such a good hoe that you, you that the amount of black grass that's coming up will be enough to keep it stable. So you'll be able to just look for any way down that you can. 
I just be free to do what I want in your time. I think I need to eat. Sheila, do you need to eat? Yes. That might be a slight overeat there, slight over overheal. As people in things like World of Warcraft would say. It, well, not that they would be eating to heal, but you know what I mean. You don't overheal because it's a waste of your mana. Come on, there's got to be better stuff down here than that. Oh my goodness. It's all scrap all. Give me good stuff. Give me the good stuff. It's like, no, your inventory is already full of, of good stuff. But it, well, you know what it's not full of? Scrap all. So you clearly need some more of that. No. Come on, just one gemstone, please. Just give me a gemstone. I haven't seen a gemstone in 84 years. Yay! Gosh, this is a horrible level for that. It's also massive. It's going to be hard to find level 6. Level 6 might have some new gems on it, though, because that was where I found gold. We need to eat again, do we? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, let's not overdo it. So now we're going to have to hoe this whole area because I definitely think I've got enough to go down and do one more level. Definitely, 100%. Ooh, a nice gem there. Oh, okay, time to do bag sorting. Just in case you're wondering, you can see in the top uh, right there that it's got the start button. That's what you do to delete things. Um, so, or whatever button it says there, that's what you need to do to delete. Just in case you wondered where I was seeing that. Some people might. So I think that's now the whole place done. And I don't feel like I've got that much stuff yet, really, honestly. But let's get the hoe out and see what I can find in, way, in the way of uh, going down another level. Oh, that was luck. Oh, that was luck. Now, this has a lot of rocks, but it's a smaller level, which is quite nice. I'm going to do a bit of eating. And I'm going to get my hammer out. And let's go. Better not all be scrap ore again, because I'll be so cross. So I'm hoping I'll be coming out of here dripping in gems. Be able to put in a request for an upgrade to my hammer and my uh, and my hoe and everything. I think the hoe first, honestly. Because you hoe more patches than your hammer. But then maybe there's more stamina involved in hitting a rock than there is in hoeing the ground. I'm not sure. Oh, well, this is a better level for gemstones so far. Okay, time to sort my bag out. Hopefully what I'm hoping is to come out with um, like a, an entire bag full just of gemstones. It's going to be amazing. I'll make so much money. It's going to be so good. All right. 
But it does mean, unfortunately, just I, every so often I have to go and throw away all these stupid scrapples because they're so annoying. So in the way. Definitely should have done that last time. Okay, let's have some food. But I'm hoping there should be an absolute killing. I don't know if there's any like new ones coming in, but... Those two don't fit right now. But it is going to really be a case of knowing which ones are worth a lot and which ones aren't. Like I know at the moment scrap ore is not worth a lot, for example. But there's a lot of other ones that I don't know. Most of everything so far I think that I've got there is worth like... It's, it's worth like about 70 each. So what I might want to do is start looking for the ones that, that are like 60 each and maybe throwing those away. If I'm running out of bag space. And I'm waiting to get down to the, the lower ones. I'm going to go to the library and have a good look at the gem situation, I think. Uh, see what kind of gems... Uh, See, I've got loads of those blue ones coming up, so you may just empty some space for those. The blue and the yellow. So I definitely can eat some of these grasses, I think. Let's go and eat those. So first I'll do that black grass, I'll eat that. I'll eat all these blue grasses. Although I think those are the ones I could put in a mixer and make a nice juice out of, but never mind. So that's given me a little bit of wiggle room. Pick up a few things. Now we just need to pick up those yellow ones. So to do that, I'm just going to throw away that scrap ore. Then I'm kind of feeling like it might be worth going back and use the rest of the stamina I've got for some other things. Um, or I could try and go down another level. But my inventory is so full right now. I would have three more spaces. You never get to save where you are and go down from there. It's You never get to have an elevator or anything like that. Well, as far as I can tell, anyway. Um, so, it really is about, sort of, sometimes you're going to have to throw things away to get down to further levels. But I'm also sort of starting to run out of food as well. So I could come in another time and get a load more stuff. Which I might just, that might be the better thing to do here. Have all those yellow ones, so mm. maybe if I find the way down really fast, I'll go down. I don't know. I think I think I think it's time to go. Let's just see what this one is. That rock that I missed. Oh cool, there was a gem that I couldn't pick up. Lovely. I think you're going to have to be left, I'm afraid. And I'm going to give the Harvest Goddess a gemstone. See what she thinks of it. Isn't she loud? How lovely of you to come see me again. I always appreciate an offering. Oh dear, I'm not terribly fond of this kind of thing. Yeah, so just in case you guys wondered, gemstones are not her kind of thing. They're my kind of thing. In fact, I'm going to go again. I'm going to go in the chicken coop and sell them. Still no mayonnaise maker. How long is it going to take? Do I have to go pick it up or something? I'll have to check that in a minute. But, in the meantime, let's go in the shipping bin. Oh man, I've got no, like, 
three slots. Um, oh, there we go. Empty hands. Right, cool. So, 60, 60, 62, 50. So, the turquoise is 50. So, so turquoise would be the next thing to throw away. Fluorite is 65, 75, 68, 62. So, the agate, maybe after that. The ones that are 60s. Amethyst after that, I think, actually. Everything else is a bit more, so probably um, we throw away turquoise and then we throw away amethyst next. Just as I'm going down into the mines. And that's 10,000. Straight off the bat. Wow. I'm saving the eggs at the moment. I pick them up. Saving the eggs at the moment so that eventually I can uh, make them into mayonnaise. But yeah, I want to go and see the the forge guy and see if that's still closed. Or whether I need to actually pick that mayonnaise maker up. It's still working. Man. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna have lots of money soon, which will allow me to make, guess what, lots of dumplings. And guess what I'll do with those dumplings? I'll go down like a million levels in that mine and make loads of money again. That's definitely a thing I can do. And then definitely like by next year, by next winter. Wow, I'm gonna be going down there like with probably mythic tools and, and all sorts of things. Well, at least whatever's after. I don't know what's after gold, after gold there's like platinum or something, or I, I'm not sure what. Okay, what am I even doing? Well, let's put some stuff away in the fridge. Put the eggs away, we'll put the raisin bread away. I like raisin bread, that's quite a good one. And the egg stuff away, but I really do feel that the moon dumplings at the moment are the best value for money. But I am also aware that by making other things I might unlock other recipes, so I've got to be careful with that one. So tomorrow is Gray's birthday. So I'll take him some ore, because he just said that, like he loves ore and all that sort of thing. So yeah, I'll find him I'll find him a piece of ore or a piece of gems or, or whatever it is that we can find him. I've got loads of uh, stamina left from the mines. Come back here, B. Come back here. I'm going to grow strong. Also, I'm going to whistle at you. So I think we still, we're still on three hearts. Yeah, still on three hearts. So we'll see how that goes. Grind up to 30 bags of feed. Alright, so the upgraded water mill just allows you to really make loads more. Yay, I got 10,000 in the bank! So that's enough, which is what I was hoping. That is enough for me to totally upgrade like three things. I don't want to buy any more animals right now. Uh, the only thing, the other thing that I'm saving up for is to buy the lumber and the stone or to, to, you know, sort of find enough lumber and stone. I wonder if I could start giving him oranges as he came to pick up the stuff. Um, what was I saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I need enough money to, to buy enough lumber and enough stone to upgrade my, my barn. And then fill that with cheese makers and mayonnaise makers and things like that. And then, like, we're doing pretty well then. And at that point, you're just breeding up the animals and trying to win the competitions and stuff. I think I'll probably play for, like, about three years worth. And I think I'll probably play until I get married. I think, I know there's probably stuff beyond that. But I think there's going to be, like... 
only really so much that I'm going to want to do myself. Where's all the trees? There was like a million tree stumps out here before. Have they turned into like proper old trees? I don't know what's going on there, but there's definitely a couple of twigs that I can turn into lumber, so that's... Free lumber is free lumber, right? And then I've got that golden lumber that I can turn into a fence, apparently. I don't know if that's really worth doing. I mean, my cows are pretty happy, like, milling around the farm like that. So I'm alright. I'm happy enough. Is it time for it to be another day yet? I think we'll... Let's go and have a look and see if we've got some ore in here that we could give to Grey. In fact, we've got we've got silver ore and we've got gold ore. Now, I think I may need all of my gold ore. So, I'm thinking maybe giving a piece of silver ore. And let's split the stack. We'll take one or... Oh, well, I'll probably only give him one anyway. It's fine. It's okay. Don't worry, guys. So that was like the massivest, longest, longest, longest day in the whole wide world. But I have not finished yet. <laughs> you thought I'd forgotten, hadn't you? So let's go and say hello to my beautiful chickens and everything like that. Now, I think we did give Alison some food already. I think is the opposite. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain I did. That's made them all very happy. Still all fours, except for Alison, who doesn't love me at all. Oh, no. <laughs> so they're giving me the nice eggs at the moment, which I'm really super happy about. I can't wait for this mayonnaise maker to show up either. But, like, I'm not even getting one day done per episode now. This winter time malarkey is quite... Uh, quite the nightmare isn't it for that but I I imagine I won't do too many massive trips into the mines <laughs> not too many trips into the mines and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to having um, a, a the new baby animals that are going to be coming along soon as well so I'm going to give everyone a brush to wake them up I like to I like to vary it you know So Lolly will become an adult cow at around the same time. Around the same time that Casey gives birth, which is due to be in about a week's time, which is going to be a little bit... Nine days left to go. So we'll have the baby rabbit, and then about four days later, we're going to probably have a, a, baby, a baby lamb and a, and a big cow. Uh, that Then I can probably sell Buttercup and I will then probably make Lolly pregnant next. Um, and then we'll, we'll work on the, the sheep and the alpacas in between cow breedings. I don't know. I'll just, I'll vary it up, I guess. It might be Skewwiff's turn next, but I kind of think they'd be cool to have like better milk, like work on one first and then the other, but I can't do, I can only do one generation of cow and then wait for them to grow up for three weeks. So that's enough time to get either the sheep or the alpaca pregnant in the meantime. So that's the way that's working. So anyway, we brushed everyone. Let's talk to everyone now. They shouldn't need feeding because they've been outside. And that would be just a waste of fodder. Then we talk to everyone, we brush everyone. And then we... Milk the cows. Lovely, so we can probably sell all of that. I'm, uh, well, I was going to make stew, but I kept one milk in the fridge for that, so we should be able to just sell them. So 120 up to 220. So like getting these cows up to higher levels is going to be really important. That's where all the work goes in. In crops, all the work goes in in sort of making, growing more crops and, and managing how to do that. But with the, the cows, it's all about affection levels and all that sort of thing and breeding as well which is going to take some time um so i'm hoping that i can get at least one 10 star 10 heart cow um by the time i sort of finish up playing so in the first sort of three or so years of this 
by then I'll have been playing it for like six, about six to eight weeks and I don't really want to be playing anything on the channel much longer than that but let's call it a night shall we Ten thousands worth of ore and gems. We're doing terribly for fishing, and I did say I'd do a bit more fishing. If I put my hammer and stuff in, um, if I put my hammer and stuff into the the mine, the, the blacksmith, that's the word, into the blacksmith shop, then I'll probably do a lot of fishing while that's going on, but I don't know, I'm not feeling the fishing. <laughs> I'm really not feeling it as much. But it's a thing to do in winter, isn't it? And it gets you some... Some money, and if I can get that fishing rod upgraded, I'll start to catch better fish, and maybe I'll feel a little bit better about it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you all next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>